Effects of Depression on Human Brain This video was produced based on request of one of our viewers. Depression can affect different areas of a person's life. Its effect could be experienced psychologically. Does it affect the brain? If yes what structure are affected? Depression has the ability to affect physical structures in the brain. Depression can impact the central control center of your nervous system. These physical changes in the structure of the brain include 1. Brain shrinkage Research shows that the size of specific brain regions can decrease in people who experience depression. These studies have shown that the following parts of the brain can be affected. Hippocampus Thalamus Amygdala Frontal Prefrontal cortices The amount of shrinkage in these areas is linked to the severity and how long the depressive episode lasts. It is important to know that when a section of the brain shrinks, the functions associated with that particular section is also affected and reduced. In the hippocampus, observable changes can occur from 8 months to a year during a single period of depression or multiple, shorter episodes. Championed with activity of memory storage, the hippocampus also controls cortisol production. When cortisol production is increased and becomes too high with time, neurons in the hippocampus are affected leading to shrinkage and in turn memory and behavior associated with self-awareness are disrupted. High cortisol levels also affects the prefrontal cortex which controls emotional responses, attention, planning, and decision making in people. Shrinkage of these can potentially contribute to a reduction in empathy in individuals who have postpartum depression PPD. 2. Brain Inflammation Brain inflammation during depression is linked to the amount of time a person has been depressed. When people experience several episodes of depression for more than 10 years, they tend to have 30% more inflammation compared to people depressed for less time. As a result, significant brain inflammation is more likely to be relevant in persistent depressive disorder. Since brain inflammation can cause the cells of the brain to die, it can lead to a number of complications, which includes Shrinkage Decreased function of neurotransmitters Decreased neuroplasticity or ability of the brain to change as the person ages All these complications can lead to dysfunctions in Brain development Learning Memory Mood Uncontrolled brain inflammation can Hurt or kill brain cells prevent new brain cells from growing lead to thinking problems speed up brain aging due to high level of cortisol in depressed people the amygdala is enlarged and since the amygdala is responsible for emotions such fear and pleasure it could lead to disturbance in sleep patterns three oxygen restriction Depression has been linked to reduced oxygen in the body. These changes may be due to changes in breathing caused by depression. When there is hypoxia due to lack of sufficient oxygen, a cellular factor produced is elevated in specific immune cells found in people with major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. The brain is highly sensitive to reductions in oxygen, as this can lead to inflammation, brain cell injury, Brain Cell Death With knowledge on brain inflammation and cell death and their symptoms associated with development, learning, memory, and mood. More striking is that short-term hypoxia can lead to confusion, much like what's observed with high-altitude hikers. But hyperbaric oxygen chamber treatments, which increase oxygen circulation, have been shown to relieve symptoms of depression in humans. Gray matter abnormalities 
Gray matter in the brain refers to brain tissue that is made up of cell bodies and nerve cells. People with depression have been shown to have thicker gray matter in parts of the brain involved in self-perception and emotions. This abnormality could be contributing to the problems someone with depression has in these areas. The potential for persisting dysfunction in memory, executive function, attention, mood, and emotional regulation does exist after series of longer-lasting depression. What can I do to prevent these changes? Ask for help. Don't be ashamed to talk to the right person who could help you, don't die in silence. If you depressed, kindly remember that it's not the end of the world and you're not hopeless because some out there is ready to help. Taking antidepressants. This should be strictly on your doctor's prescription, never self-medicate. Reducing your stress. If you're not currently depressed, the best way to prevent these brain changes is to prevent the onset of a depressive episode. There's considerable evidence linking psychological stress to the initiation of depressive episodes in many forms of depression. Simply asking someone to decrease the amount of stress in their life can seem impossible or daunting but there are actually some simple and short changes that you can make to help reduce your stress. Some treatments for mild or serious depression include Talk therapy Antidepressants Short-term use of ketamine Brain stimulation Exercise Meditation Healthy diet change Suicide is a serious symptom of depression. Depressed people have trouble remembering fine details of events they've experienced. Depression leads to decreased brain activity, don't die in silence choose to speak up and live.